No, I got something much better than Bobby, Buddy Holly waiting in the wings, but don't tell Buddy Holly I said that. There's one, one phone call we all like to get here at the box office, and it's when somebody orders 300 tickets in one swoop. There's only one person who does that. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the chairman of the board, Bob Sinclair. Bob, come on. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 31 years, and uh, you know, uh, you know, and, and the reason is that it's, you know you always want to try to do something where you can make a difference, and uh, and keeping this theater open, I thought was very important. You know, at one time we had 80,000 people a year would come down here at night into Bridgeport at night to see live music. So, uh, you know, I picked this as something that I, I know I can make a difference. And, and that's why I, I devoted so much of my time and energy to this over the years. Uh, and I want to find if I can get Sue. Sue and Richard came from Iowa. And, and, and Richard was a, like the number one producer there. And when he, they brought him here, they showed him the Los Polis. And they said, this is what's going to be your theater. It, it, it never happened. He ended up here. But he gave this theater his, you know, his whole love. I mean, this man, is, is Sue here yet? Where is Sue? Where is she? Oh, she's up there. Okay, she's with my wife. Okay, so I want to recognize Sue. Okay, we get her. Sue, just, Sue and Richard work this theater 52 weeks a year, never took a vacation. And never took more than fifty thousand dollars a year out of the theater, right? And then they suck, suck the son into the deal, okay? Right? And he came along for the ride, okay? But those two just love the theater. I remember sitting in the back one time with Richard, and I think we were doing uh, West Side Story, and he said to me, "Bob, look at that image. Look at the lighting. Look at the image. You know, he had a passion for." putting on live theater in Bridgeport, Connecticut. One time we used to have 14 people on stage and we used to have eight people in the orchestra. We used to have a $40,000 a week payroll, right? And, and when you think about it, we had to pay union wages, right? right? We had to pay for six shows, we only did five, right? And we had to pay for train fares back and forth to New York. And, and we only had, what, 250, 300 people. So we, you know, we didn't have the house to support what we were doing. Uh, and I was able to, luckily we had so many banks at the time in Bridgeport, I was able to get 25000 from each bank to do a sponsorship. And now there's no banks to get any money from, okay? So, so, except People's Bank, they, they continue to be a sponsorship. So, you know, if you can tell you, and we change the format, we do a little something different now, we don't, we don't, we used to have a state, we used to make its costumes in the back. We used to make the stages right here. We used to have carpenters. So now we bring in the shows, we bring in 13 shows a year. We have our kids shows, which is still a big hit. Okay? Right? So, you know, if you can just, if you, if you tell your friends about it, and if you can support it, you know, it's like doing something for Bridgeport. Maybe when you come here, you can support it. So I want to thank you all for coming tonight. It's been great to be part of this. And it's been my pleasure to be with this family. Thank you so much.
this. Come on. Thank you. 